Police, substitute teacher ran classroom fight club at Montville High School and now fired substitute teacher who police said encouraged students to smack each other in one-on-one -on -one fights in his Montville High School math class was arrested Thursday. Ryan Avery Fish, 23, of South Road in Basra, told police I'm an idiot who just wanted to be friends with the students, according to the warrant for his arrest. He was charged with four counts of second-degree reckless endangerment, two counts of risk of injury to a minor and one count of breach of peace. He was fired on October 10. Police set Fish's bail at $75,000, after his arraignment in Superior Court in Norwich, he was released on a written promise to return to court on May 8, a court clerk said. Montville police began investigating reports of a fight club at Montville High in December, state police said. They learned that the fights happened in a classroom under the supervision of a substitute math teacher, Fish, and that four boys, ranging in age from 14 to 16, were involved, police said. In interviews with police, Fish said that the fight started in September, and that he thinks there were four, according to the warrant for his arrest. Police said they have evidence students cell phone videos of two. I would let them be teenagers and get their energy out, Fish told investigators, according to the warrant. He added, I will admit that I did at one point add them on. The warrant does not say whether anyone suffered serious physical injuries in the fights, although one student began vomiting during one. Another was taken to the hospital for a mental evaluation after showing symptoms in December of being traumatized, the warrant says. The boys who squared off seemed to be unevenly matched, police said, with one much smaller than the other. Some of the boys involved were not students in Fish's math class, the warrant says. According to the warrant, a social worker and juvenile court liaison with the State Department of Children and Families alerted police on December 14 to a student who showed up in court with real and identifiable symptoms of having been traumatized. The boy, whom police called Victim 1, reported that he had been robbed and beaten at Montville High by other students. He was taken to the William W. Bacchus Hospital in Norwich for a mental health evaluation, the warrant says. The next day, the school resource officer talked to assistant principal Tatiana Patton and learned that the school system had known about a fight club since October 10, the warrant says. Cell phone videos had surfaced of students slap fighting each other in Fish's math class, Patton told the officer. Patton had met with principal Jeffrey Theodos about the videos, and Fish was taken to superintendent Brian Levesque, who fired him. When the principal confronted Fish about the videos, Fish downplayed the incidents, saying, boys will be boys, the warrant said. On December 18, a state police sergeant met with the superintendent and showed him a cell phone video from a concerned parent. The video clearly showed a classroom and two students swinging full force at each other's heads with open-handed strikes, the warrant says. It also showed an adult employee, identified as Fish, standing in the background. The sergeant asked Levesque to provide the Montville police with all cell phone videos and electronic data, such as emails, the school had about the matter, but the superintendent, citing school policy, declined to do so without a search warrant, police said. Levesque could not be reached for comment on why the school didn't know about the fights earlier and why school officials didn't report them to police when they found out. When police obtained a warrant and reviewed the video clips, they saw what looked like two fights on two separate days. In one, Fish is seen and heard giving directions to the students who are fighting and moving the trash can out of the way so they can continue their fight, the warrant says. A Montville detective viewed a video that showed Fish while smiling and laughing motioning with his hands in a way that appears to signal the start of a fight. But while one student then charged another, he stopped short of fighting the other student, according to the warrant. When police began interviewing the students involved in the fights, one said Fish started one fight by saying, one, two, three, the warrant says. The student also said Fish moved things out of the way so the students didn't dump into them and the fight would last longer, the warrant says. The student said that fight ended when the opposing student started throwing up, although Fish tried to get it started again by saying round two, the warrant says. The fight didn't restart because the school bell rang.
The student also told police that Fish told his class that he had smoked marijuana and tried other drugs, and that he let students draw pictures of male body parts on the board, the warrant says. Another student told police that Fish didn't really set up the fights but would watch, the warrant says. The student said his opponent, victim 1, got a bloody lip in one slap boxing match, and that Fish stopped that fight when victim 1 stumbled, but he started it up again when the teen was able to stand, the warrant says. According to the warrant, Fish told police the fight started out as horseplay, and that only the most recent one had gone too far. The truth is I'm an idiot and wanted to befriend them, Fish, who was 22 at the time, was quoted as saying in the warrant. I'm amateur.